بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على شرف المرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحابته أجمعين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, all praise is due to only Almighty Allah. We seek refuge in Him from the evil promptings of our hearts and the iniquities we perpetrate with our hands. We bear witness to His oneness and that this oneness is not negotiable and His control over the universe is beyond controversy. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is in control. And we also bear witness that Prophet Muhammad, may Allah's peace and blessings continue to be with him, is his servant, messenger, and prophet. May the peace and blessings of Allah continue to be with him, his household, his companions, and all the sincere followers of the Prophet to the Day of Judgment. The focus of the sermon this afternoon is following of self-desire. Self-desire. Self-desire now is the modern God that people are worshipping. I, 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 I. And self-desire, what will it lead man to? into error and perdition. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Holy Quran La yu'minun fala wa rabbika La yu'minun hatta yuhakkimuka fi ma shajara baynahum thumma la yajidu fi anfusihim Haraja mimo kodait wa yusallimu teslima. Allah swears by his name. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is swearing by his own name. Muhammad tell them they should never lay claim to any altar of iman or faith until they make you the arbiter in all their disputes. Then after you give your verdict they knows no grudge against your verdict. While you sell limu teslima, they abide by it all utterly, no reservation. Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he also made a commentary on that verse of Al Quran. That is Quran chapter four, verse sixty-five. Rasulullah said, "La yuminu adukum." Hatta yakuna awa taba'an lima wajit to be. None of you is a believer until his desire, until his desire tallies with what I have brought. Until what you desire in your life, in all aspects of your life, tallies with what the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam brought. And it is not a matter of, well, let me accept 90%. This 10%, let me manage it. No. No partial submission. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is requesting for your total submission. Now today, everybody is following his own self-desire. Regardless of what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about. And we claim we are Muslims. Allah says, إن من الذين آمنوا بالله ورسوله ثم لم يرتابوا وجاهدوا بأموالهم وأنفسهم في سبيل الله أولئك هم الصادقون. The true believers, the true believers are those who believe in Allah and the Prophet. ثم لم يرتابوا. Then they never doubt. Say well, how can we apply the Sharia this time around? No, the Sharia is for the olden days. We are in the day, we are in the jet age. Now democracy is the is the new is the in thing now. To show you are civilized, you follow this democracy. 
Nigerians now, everybody is shouting democracy. Not in Nigeria, all over the world. And what's the piece of democracy? Self desire. Self desire. Because the government of the people, for the people, by the people. Now, where do you put Allah, the God of the people? And where will it end you? Where has it led those who, who, are, who are before you? Error and perdition. Desire. You don't follow self desire in, every, in the minutest aspect of your life. Say, well, okay, in the mosque, I am a good Muslim. I follow the Imam, I follow what they say. But it's in my house, in my office, in my business place, I can do it out any hour I like. No! No! Allah, Allah is asking us in the Holy Quran. فَمَا جَزَاهُ مَنْ يَفْعَلْ ذَلِكَ مِنْكُمْ إِلَّا خِسِّيُونَ فِي الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا وَيَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ يُرَدُّونَ إِلَى شَدِّ الْعَذَابِ وَمَا اللَّهُ بِكَافِلٍ أَمَّا تَعْمَلُونَ Do you believe in a part of this Quran and you believe in another part? You subject yourself to the laws in the, in the mosque. But when you get to your office, you get to your working place, let's follow our desire. This is what I think. I feel, I suppose, I assume. Everybody, everybody is following conjecture. Guesswork. Everything, every the society that is currently guesswork. Let's assume. Let's experiment. You know, we are experimenting. We are the loss of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is there. Intact. Everybody. No, we can't know. Sharia is not applicable in our time now. You see, as it is a crime for you as a Muslim to follow your desire in every aspect of your life, so it's also a crime for you to sit with those who follow self desires. We regard, whatever they may be. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is warning you. You don't even sit where the loss of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is being ridiculed. Allah says, وَلَقَدْ يَحَسْنَ مِثَاقُ بَنِ إِسْرَاهِيلِ وَأَرْسَلْنَا إِلَيْهِمْ رُسُلًا كُلَّ مَنْ جَاءَ رَسُولٌ بِمَا لَا تَعْوَ أَنْفُسُهُمْ قَدَّبُوا فَرِيقًا قَدَّبُوا وَقَالْ فَرِيقًا قَدَّبُوا فَرِيقًا يَقْتُلُونَ Allah says, we took covenant with the children of Israel, those who came before you Muslims. We took covenant with them that you follow the laws. They agreed. But each time we sent a prophet or a messenger to them, and this messenger are preaching what is contrary to, it, to their desire, they belie them. They are telling lies. Most of them they belied, and most of them they slaughtered, they killed them, because they were the 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 the, 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 the prophets, the the the, the 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 messengers were preaching doctrines contrary to their desires. And you see the Muslims today now. Are we not following their footpath? Somebody, this is the Sharia. This is the Sunnah of Rasulullah. You start to rationalize. He said, You see, you know, and you see, this time around, you can't do, you know, you can't be fanatical. You see, that is extremism. You know, it is moderate. It's a private affair. What else is a private affair? See? The ulama. They warned us. He said, La to get la to get al awa. Never sit in the company of those who follow desire. We are meeting, and that meeting is not starting with Bismillah. What meeting is that? That meeting you are doing is not starting with Bismillah Rahman Rahim. But like Shaitan, we, 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 we hold meetings with you. If you are meeting, you are doing any deliberation. And it does not start in the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the meeting will never have a good head. Why? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said, any decision, any, any deliberation, any gathering you are making, and the name of Allah subhanahu wa is not mentioned, no blessing will come out of that meeting. No blessing whatsoever. Because, Allah says, in yetabina ila vonna, wa ma tahwal anfus, what they are following is just conjecture. Bond. 
guess work. And what their, 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 their mind desires for them. This will only lead to perdition. And you see, it is not only addressing individuals, the whole society. Because when everybody follows his own desire, there will be conflict, conflict of interest. But if you all follow the laid down laws of Allah's Bano wa Ta'ala, there will be unanimity. There won't be room for dissension. There won't be room for discord. There won't be room for, for, for bickerings. Bickerings. If you all follow Allah's Bano wa Ta'ala, because Allah's Bano wa Ta'ala is not a partial God. It's a just God. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows his own people. He says, Inna akramakum in the at koku. The most honorable before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are the most God conscious amongst you. You see, it is not a matter of the, the political cloud you can muster. No. It's a matter of your iman. How you, you follow the, 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 the laid down principles of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this instruction from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala goes to your privacy. I say this one oh, is my private affairs. I can do it anyhow I like. I can treat my wife anyhow I like. I can treat my children anyhow I like. I can, I can treat my subordinates anyhow I like. I can do my life anyhow I like. It's freedom of life. Freedom of expression. No. Not, not absolute in Islam. It is not absolute freedom. Munkana yuminu billahi wal yuminu akhir fali yakul al khairan aw al yasmut. If indeed you believe in Allah in the last day, say what is good or keep silent. So, desires is now the modern God, the people are worshipping. And it starts from the individual and it goes to the to, 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 to the to the international world. So let us decide how to rule our lives. Did you create yourself? You didn't create yourself. When there is a problem with your car, whom do you go to? You go to the mechanics. When you have problem with your shoes, you go to the the cobbler. Now, you are a human beings. When you have problem in your lives, whom do you go to? You go to your creator. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And how do you go to your, your creator? His words are with you. His everlasting words, they are with you. Kept intact. Free from distortion and interpolation. So as Muslims, you don't have any option. Allah says, it does not defeat somebody who calls himself a Muslim, male or female. After Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his apostles have passed a verdict on an issue. On an issue. It's not some issues. On an issue. Any issue. To still have options. And say, well, okay, we understand. That is what the Quran says. That's what the Hadith say. But to us, this is what we want to do. Auzubillah. But according to me, to my own personal uh, principle, my own policy, what policy do you have? If not the policy already laid down for you by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I think some of us will utter these statements out of ignorance. Perhaps some of us make unnecessary efforts on issues that have already been settled by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran because we don't have the knowledge. 
At times you see some people arguing, debating. You see all of them on the television. You see every time. On the radio, everywhere, they are debating on an issue that Allah has already laid down, has already settled. But you see them beating around the bush. And they will never reach their goal forever. After the what do you see? Error. And the truth is where? The truth is transcendental. The truth, Allah Allah is the truth. The truth is the Sharia. Error is every other thing. Any other thing apart from the loss of Allah Allah is error. Any other law apart from the loss of Allah is error. So, you can debate from now till, till, till the next century. The truth of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will still remain the truth. And the laws of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will still remain relevant. But you will be making errors. Making errors. Making errors. Therefore, as Muslims, we should give time to know our religion. You call yourself a Muslim and you are still ignorant of that religion. There are there are certain areas you are lacking in knowledge, you don't know. Fasialu ala dikir in kuntum la ta'ala moon. Ask those who preach if you don't know. Because in that day, it is not a matter, you see, no, I am an engineer. I am not a malam. That excuse is not accepted. You know I am a businessman, I am very busy. That's I don't have time to, it will not be accepted. You know I am, I am a politician, I don't have time. You know I am a, this, I am that. Whatever you may be. On that day, all of us will, will, will gather there. Allah Ta'ala will never take any excuse from anybody. Because Allah Ta'ala is giving you respite. He's giving you a chance. Therefore, look at how, how, how much we struggle to, 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 to achieve better life. You know how much we struggle to hand our means of livelihood. You know how much we, we struggle to, to bring about convenience for ourselves in this life? If we are struggling in the same day, how peaceful the world will be? If you are struggling for your hereafter, as you are struggling for this present world, you know how peaceful the life will be. But we forget our hour here. Therefore, knowledge is very, very important. So that you will not utter statements that will throw you out of Islam. Some will tell you, ah, the prophet said that one. That one is part of Islam. Ah, well, uh, 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 I beg to disagree. That uh, this, uh, uh, me, me, uh, I, I, I don't believe in that. That is a kufu, kalimah to kufu. And at this, you cannot fault it. You don't have the knowledge to fault it. You cannot say whether this uh, this is Doif or Sahi or Hassan or Maudu. You can You don't have that knowledge. But you say, just, you see that, I did say, well, this I did well, I, I, I think I doubt it. That's good, you are out of Islam. That, you are, you are out of Islam. If you say, well, I know that is part of Islam. But I have, this is my own shortcomings. Admit you have that shortcomings in you. But Allah may forgive you. But if you say it should never be, it's good for you. Therefore, brothers and sisters in Islam, why we will not fall into this error is to create time to know our religion. To know our religion. It is not only when coming to the mosque on Fridays alone. Not coming up to mosque on Fridays alone. No. Do you eat once in a week? Do you eat once in a week? No. You eat at least three times in a day. Because you feel your body needs the food for its nourishment. Similarly to your soul needs food. And that food is the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That food that your soul desires is the wazi, the lectures, the sermons, the, the, the salat, the, 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 the Quran, which you do. These are the foods for the soul. Because if you allow your body to dominate over your soul, what will happen is the satanic tendency in your life will be aroused. And you continue making mistakes, errors. But if you allow, you bring, you, you bring about a balance between your soul and your body, 
according to the program of life as entrenched in the Quran and the Sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, you are a perfect human being, you are a balanced human being, and inshallah, you have this word and the other word.